Secondary dominants transform any viable scale degree within a given key into a temporary tonic. As such, voice leading in secondary dominance works exactly the same as voice leading in regular dominance. Leading tones move up by step, and chordal sevenths move down by step. The only difference is that we have to think momentarily in another key. In this example, a secondary dominant of 5 requires us to think briefly in the key of 5, G major. In G major, F sharp is the leading tone. We thus treat F sharp as a temporary leading tone that must rise to the temporary tonic, G. And as with all seventh chords, we must resolve the chordal seventh down by step. The same is true when seven chords are used as secondary dominants. In this example, F sharp is the temporary leading tone, and E natural is the chordal seventh. Each resolves accordingly. Special care should be given when using secondary dominants in minor keys, because of the number of accidentals required. 5 of 5 in C major, for instance, requires a single accidental, F sharp, but the same chord in C minor requires two accidentals, F sharp and A natural. Although secondary dominants usually resolve to the diatonic chord of which they are the dominant, as in 5 of 4 resolving 2-4, it's also common for secondary dominants of 5 to lead immediately to a cadential 6-4. When this occurs, the seventh of the secondary dominant doesn't resolve until the cadential 6-4 resolves. In the following progression, the seventh of the secondary dominant, C, is suspended as part of the cadential 6-4 chord, and resolves only when the cadential 6-4 moves to 5. The same is true when 7 diminished 7 of 5 moves directly to a cadential 6-4. Note that in the major mode, however, the chordal 7th, E-flat, first moves up by augmented unison to E-natural. 